Hey guys, so I am now at La Boba Torre here in San Gabriel and I'm here to try a whole bunch of different drinks. We got a taro one, a watermelon juice tea. So I like how it's like layered, it's so pretty. And this one is their better beer. It doesn't have any beer in it and there's no tea. It's like sparkling kind of soda or something with like this cream on top. And this one is the Insta Mango one and this one's like a matcha one. I'm gonna try them all. So let's start with this matcha one. I'm gonna mix it in first. You know, I used to work at a boba shop and it would drive me crazy if like nobody mixes this first because it's like it's like all syrup on the bottom and you gotta mix it anyway. Oh, that's really good. Here, as another, here's another tip. When you go to these kind of places, ask for the least amount of sugar as possible because the syrup itself, just to flavor it, it's already very sweet. So I asked for the least amount of sugar and that's very, very good. I just had Korean barbecue earlier and boba drinks after Korean barbecue is the best because it's so heavy and these drinks are like so light. Now let's try the mango one. Oh, this one is so pretty. It's like, it mixes into orange with the pink and yellow. All right, this one is like very acidic, very tropical. Mango juice, it tastes like mango juice. Oh, this one is really interesting. What is this? Hold on, let me try this cream. Oh, like, oh my god, it's foaming up. It's foaming. Oh my god, it's it's. Oh my god. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> ah, that's carbonated. All right, I didn't expect that, but it's very good. I just didn't expect it to pop up. Wow. Maybe it's the way they call it the laboratory. Lab this is like a science experiment. I was never good at chemistry, so everything I would make just blows up like this. Okay. I was trying this watermelon juice. I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, this one's really good. It's like super refreshing. That's really interesting how it turns purple. That was like pink and... Oh my god, wait, wait. I get it. It's like layered and you mix it because it's like a science experiment kind of... Is that what it's supposed to be? <laughs> it's, yeah. it's like... Uh, it's supposed to change colors twice. Uh, the top is actually just like activated charcoal. Oh! Yeah, so first it mixes in, turns like pink and then um, the activated charcoal comes in and kind of turns up gray like purplish oh you see well there you go it's like a it's a lab here and is this one supposed to blow up um <laughs> yeah i actually should have feeling you on that one but usually like you're actually just supposed to sip it uh because oh you it okay it does like it blows up yeah. okay i'm sorry it's okay all right now finally let me try that taro one i love taro like i always get taro milk tea if i go to like a boba place and this one's got their boba Oh yeah, that's good. Mm. And like I said, I worked in a boba shop for like five years, so I know when a boba is like stale and just sitting out for a long time. That's actually freshly made boba, so that's actually very good. Ooh. I would drink this much within like the first hour of my shift at the boba shop. So it's pretty normal to drink five boba drinks. Ah. But so far, this has my attention. Like, I've never seen something like this. You don't usually see sparkling, like, carbonated drinks at, at a boba place. I love Taro so much. I think that one's my favorite just because it's so unique. 
that one's my least because it's acidic. I don't like sour stuff. I would never drink like the lemon teas, passion fruit teas. I always get like the milkier ones. It's like, it kind of tastes like custard. I, it's really good. I, I'm, I'm so sad I wasted that part. So, okay, you guys. Let me know how many boba drinks you usually get when you go to a boba place in the comments down below. And if you want to check them out, they are in San Gabriel, California. So, yeah, anyway, like and subscribe if you're not. See you next time. Bye bye.